Hey guys, it's Drew the Helium Dude. Thanks for checking out the channel. Well, today I'm excited because we're less than 10 hours away from when Freedom 5 will start distributing the anticipated Freedom 5 5G ready helium gateway. As always, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the alerts, and hit those like buttons if you really like the content. I want to give a big shout out today to one of our subscribers. He's been with us for about 30 days and the name is Johnny DJ Cow. So thanks for subscribing to the channel, bud. Um, and, and the reason why I'm shouting you out is, is you recently answered the question I, answered, uh, I proposed in the um, community tab of what do you guys want to see next? Um, you know, his response was, you know, can you cover Freedom Fi mining? You know, how to get the miner and then is it going to be worth it? So, um, you know, I, I didn't really want to jump into, you know, running off in a bunch of different directions with the channel. Um, but Freedom Fi is definitely a hot topic that I want to start covering with you guys. Um, so at this point, what we're going to do is I'm going to jump in. We're going to look at the five most common questions that I get from a thousand yard view. And then going forward, as, as more information becomes available, these things start getting deployed and the answers become clear. We'll kind of dive in a little bit deeper. So what is the Freedom Fi 5G Helium Gateway? Well, when properly deployed, the Freedom Fi 5G Helium Gateway will provide helium network coverage for both IoT devices and cellular devices operating in the CBRS spectrum land. So we have two things going on here, guys. First thing, we can actually deploy this gateway as a standalone HNT miner, just like a Rack V2 or a Bobcat, and mine HNT for proof of coverage and then also for the data transfer. Um, the second thing that we have going on is that now we can also use this gateway to provide 5G coverage for cellular devices, cell phones, tablets, things like that. In both cases, we will earn and mine h &T rewards for providing this coverage and passing the data onto the Helium network. So how do I order one of these? Well, unfortunately, if you're not in the United States, the Freedom 5 5G Helium Gateway is not available to you. I don't know if they have any future plans to expand it worldwide, but for right now, it's only available in the United States. The second piece to it is that this, the first beta batch of 10,000 units had to be secured by a pre-order with a $100 deposit. They've currently already filled these 10,000 orders and are not taking any more at this time. Helium Noob, however, was lucky enough to get a pre-order and per Freedom Fi's timeline, I should receive it sometime in December. So how much will it cost? Well, if you're only going to use it as a standalone miner, like the Bobcat or the Rack V2, then it's going to cost you $4.99 plus shipping. But if you want to take full advantage of the gateway, you'll need a compatible 5G radio, which can bring your initial equipment costs up to somewhere between $1,000 and $8,000, depending on your install site. Further, access fees for spectrum, network management can be anywhere from $20 to $600 per month. And then if you don't want to just offload data for the big carriers, which are yet to be determined, you can onboard your own customers at a cost of $50 per SIM card. I know it seems like a ton of money, but guys, really, it's a small amount of money for such huge potential. Um, yes, it is a chunk of change, but I think that the potential outweighs the risk. Um, so that brings us to the next question. How much will I earn? Well, this is a tough answer at this point because it's not really clear on how much uh, you know 5G data will be able to offload with these things, but here is what we do know: you will at least earn as much HNT as what current hotspots are earning. Now we can all sit there and go through all the forums and all the Facebook and all the YouTube channels and everything. Everybody's talking about rewards are going down. We know they're going down because more people are coming onto the network, which takes away you know you're, you're spreading the same amount of rewards out over more people. So we all know that's happening. Um, but if you look at it, even on kind of the low end, if you, let's say your miner was mining 0.25 HNT a day, that's about seven and a half a month, um, you know, HNT, and at about $18 right now for the current market value, it's $135 a month. So you got a three and a half month ROI just on it if you're using it as a, um, a standalone miner. Um, now, what's what they have established is with, with HIP 27, um, that actually establishes a baseline reward amount for passing CBRS data over the Helium network. So they are um, already saying that as a baseline you know, reward they're gonna offer, it's gonna be 50 cents per gigabyte of CBRS data that's transferred. 
the biggest key to all this is just like with you know all the other hot spots the things that are going to be your biggest factors is one you know like your location your antenna antenna height traffic population and then obviously carry offloading once they figure out what carriers are going to um, start using the the network um, this will all play a key factor in, in exactly how much you earn and as i get my deployment set up and going i'll be you know i'm excited to, to share with you guys kind of some real life numbers of what's going on with it now i know you guys are saying well drew you know we don't know if the relationships are established with the carriers we don't know how much money we're going to make you know is this thing going to be worth it you know and i think you know if you're lucky to get your hands on one of these uh, heck yeah i think it's worth it um, at this point in time, you know, the information that I have, you know, you can call a little bit of a gamble, right? You know, but it, if you believe that the Helium network and, and um, you know, the Helium project has a long, if you believe in it as a long-term project and, and you put a little bit of faith in Freedom Fi that, that they've actually developed these big carrier relationships that they've alluded to, you know, they're saying they're all under NDAs and they can't discuss exactly who it is yet. Um, you know, if they've established that, um, we know that the network is only going to get bigger and handle more data. Um, and, and that's what I find intriguing with it. Um, you know, Drew the Helium Noob out in the sticks of a small little town in Michigan. You know, I have the ability to, to throw up some equipment, you know, and, and eat a piece of that big wireless carrier's pie. Um, you know, this is a wonderful thing. And as our society develops and evolves with blockchains and Web 3.0 and, and all this crazy stuff coming, um, I think I think the idea that, that the small guy is, is now going to be able to contribute on, on a mass scale um, and, and earn passive income while doing so, I, I think that, that that's the hook. And that's what keeps me on the Helium project. You know, you make your own decision. Um, uh, you know, I always try to, to give you my opinion with, with the information I have. Um, but always do your own research, your own homework on these things before you invest in any of it. Um, but at any rate, I appreciate you guys checking out the channel today. Um, if you would, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, you know, turn on the alerts that way you get all my content. And then, and then if you truly like the content, please hit that like button. Um, it helps me out with the algorithm. Uh, we get more awareness on my videos and, and our community continues to grow. So uh, once again, appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one.